bienvenidas. As you guys can see from the title today, we're doing another flashback favorites. I haven't done one of these in a while and you guys seem to love to look back at my favorites and my hauls to see where these products are, if I still have them, did I declutter them, did I use them up? So since it is March, I decided to go back to March of 2016. Seems like as I was going through my channel, I did a lot of the 2015 flashback favorites. So we're jumping into 2016 now. This is about what, uh, seven years ago? I had to make sure my math was right. So seven years ago, I bought some of these products and I'm going to let you know whether I repurchased them, still love them, still have them, don't have them, used them up, whatever the case may be. So if you are interested, stay tuned. You guys, I was feeling the darkness. I, I've accepted it. L this week we we're supposed to have all sun. Yesterday was sun. The rest of the week is gloomy. We have another gloomy day, another gloomy day. What I'm wearing is exactly what it looks like outside. I added a little bit of green eyeliner to my look just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. It looks actually really nice. I'm telling you, Game Beauty's liquid eyeliners are so much fun. So anyway, I have my list here that I did. This is favorites that um, I used to do back in the day. And after a while, I realized that I was kind of forcing it and I don't want to do that anymore. So 2016, 2016, at this point in my life, I, if I recall correctly, I had two kids, not yet a third. I was still working full time, about to quit my job in a month. <laughs> That's what I remember about 2016. So I have seven products here that I spoke about that were some of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first product we spoke about was Bobbi Brown's eye cream. It was a sample size that I had in the video I stated it lasted me two weeks. Um, I really loved it, enjoyed it. I will say that I never specifically purchased the Bobbi Brown eye cream. I have gotten Bobbi Brown face creams, eye creams throughout sample sizes, throughout all of the years that I've either purchased something, got free gift with purchases kind of thing, or even just given to me. So I have been able to get away with it that way. It is, if I remember, it is a beautiful, beautiful formula. Bobbi Brown really does have really good creams. I would actually think that Bobbi Brown's better than Charlotte Tilbury. I will tell you that right now, I feel at least. I've never purchased it because I've just used other things or like I said, sample. I do have a sample size of this in my bathroom as we speak. I just remembered because I did look for it and I, I, now I know where I put it. But anyway, so I never necessarily, I didn't necessarily purchase a full size of this but I have gotten samples throughout the years where I'm still being okay with not getting it, but I will. Eventually I'm gonna get older and I will need something like this and I will not be afraid to invest in things like this. All right, product number two, I spoke about it's a 10 leave-in spray. At In this video, I did speak about the light version, which was the white bottle. I have tried the regular version. This is something that has always been my favorite. It's been on and off, I bought it got sample sizes of it, loved it, so on and so forth. This past Christmas, I ended up buying a full size when it was half off. So still to this day, I still love this product. I actually have a deluxe sample size in the bathroom that my daughter is using. She just told me that she's about to run out. So we are gonna hop into this big bad boy. This is a beautiful product. It helps with my girl's hair. Detangling helps to replace lost uh, protein it, for dry hair, that kind of stuff. And it does help my hair specifically in the summer. I mainly use this in the summer because we're in pools, we're in the ocean. There goes my ring light again. We're in the ocean, we're in pools, and my hair gets dry from the sun, the salt, the chlorine, and this just helps a lot with that. So yeah, I still love it. I'm actually surprised I still love this product because I didn't remember I loved it from so far back. Product three, this is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. At the time when I shared this palette, it had zero pans. Um, when I, before I decluttered it, spoiler, I had two pans in it. I have since decluttered it. I've realized that I just had too much of this color story redundant in my, it's just too, too much in my collection and I had to let things go. Actually, this specific one was one that was taken away or like, 
requested to have in December. Remember how I told you guys I just let people go through my drawers and pick whatever they wanted? This was one of the ones that someone chose and I just let them have it. It still worked fine till the end. The formulas still work great. I still enjoy that, but I have too much of that color story, so I was okay with letting it go. I still would recommend that palette. I really do, like for beginners, somebody who likes a nice uh, eyeshadow that's easy to blend. Uh, it is pigmented, but it's not super pigmented. It is buildable. It's a little bit powdery. If you like the Lorac eyeshadows, you would have liked that palette. Um, so yeah, I don't have it anymore. I do not have it anymore. Up next was the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I still have this palette. I still love this palette. It looks like I have barely touched it because Too Faced shadows are just so densely packed and so in there that you really can't get it. This is I'm happy that I've kept it because now at this stage in my life, I love, I still love warm tones. This color still pulls on my heartstrings. This color story is still something that I love to wear in the summer. So I'm happy I didn't let it go because I would have replaced it with something else at this point. It's, this is why I don't declutter because your thought process changes. Guys, it still smells like peanut butter. Holy moly, it still smells like peanut butter. These Too Faced shadows last a very long time, just like MAC shadows last a very long time, I feel. Um, there's quite a few uh, Urban Decay, same thing. I feel like they last a while, so I still have this. Still enjoy it, still pull it out in the summer. I, I have no regrets about keeping this, I really don't. Then I have my Laura Geller Just Blushing Trio Palette. This is like the second video where I've shared this with you guys. This is so, so good. I'm not gonna go through in detail because I've already done a haul rehaul, recall haul video where I shared this. Still have it, still love it. In this video that I filmed, I was wearing Golden Apricot. Oh my goodness, I love it. I, and I actually found it in another palette that I have. So I actually have two of these. I don't have it in a single, but I do have it in two and it's just so beautiful, yep. Still love the Laura Geller blushes. And it's funny because I, I just recently watched um, Laura Mae Beauty's, one of her recent videos, and she spoke in there how she regretted letting go of the Laura Geller blushes because now she thinks she would have loved them more. And this is my reason why I don't declutter things that I know I'm, I still enjoy, but I don't reach for often, but I know at some point I will do it again. So, so circle of life, just like clothing, just like accessories and makeup. The 90s are back when it comes to makeup, so here we go. Then I am shocked at this next product that I said was a favorite, really am shocked. This was a Kardashian Beauty highlighter in the shade Aurora. It was one of the ones with the star on it. I'll, obviously I've posted pictures of everything I've been talking about. I'm surprised because I'm not somebody to buy a lot of like celebrity brand stuff and this must have caught my attention at some point. I said it was $11 in this video, so that may have been why I bought it because it wasn't that expensive. It was really big highlighter. I do remember liking it, but I did end up decluttering that one just because there was a lot more that I have and still have that are just even better formula, beautiful. I forgot that they even had a brand, the three, the three older sisters together. Forgot. See how we remember things? Yeah, so that's gone. Last thing that I shared was the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Magic Wand. This was such a beautiful shade and I do remember really loving it. But as we all know, ColourPop lip products just go bad rather quickly. These did, at least the satin and the mattes went bad within the year. Like after a year, that's as most as you can get it in your collection and after that it was completely gone. Um, this was a beautiful shade. I do remember getting quite a bit of use on it. Would I got uh, like this now? I don't know, it was a lot more pinky and I'm more into the brownie nudes. Like I realized I'm more into the brownie nudes and I would manipulate that shade to be a little bit more brownie nude with lip liner. So I wouldn't get that now. Even though it's a satin form, it kind of reminds me of what I'm wearing on my lips from Game Beauty. It was very similar, very similar, but not quite. So out of the seven favorites that I shared with you guys in March, three are still alive and well still kicking in my collection. Some have been repurchases, some have been here since that video, and they're still working perfectly fine. I'm actually shocked at what I said in this video because I don't know if now I would say certain things in here would be my favorites. The Holy Grail, I don't think that would be a favorite. Ultra Satin Lips, not a favorite. The Kardashian Highlighter, 
I don't think that would be a favorite. I don't think that would even hold a candle to what we have now in highlighters at all. Um, I think those are the three things that I would have been like, what, what, what was I thinking? At the time, that's what it was in.